When you're washing your lines on an acta, it's really important that you remember that if you're using a fraction collector, you actually go and wash the line that goes to the fraction collector. So there is a line that goes into the fraction collector and from the column, and this line needs to be washed after your run, not just washing when you have to just go set to wash things normally. It just goes through, out through the waste but you need to set it to directly go to the fraction collector to wash this tubing and wash all the tubing that's associated with the fraction collector. So in the fraction collector, there's this pipe here that goes down to here, this waste. And so we can send the liquid traveling through those here. So it'll send water traveling through here after our run in order to then flush that line, wash that line. And so Karina is going to show us how we can set this up in our unicorn software. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're bypassing the column, which we are, which is great. Mm -hmm. So right now, if we go here, we can see we're going to waste. If you click on that, and now you select flat frack, there we go. And so now we can see that it's going to go through that fraction collector line. We can go ahead and take our pump A. So we go to our pump A, which is in our water. We're gonna set our, the system flow rate for five mils per minute. Set flow rate. And now we're just going to let it go. And so we can see it's not going through the column, which is good because we're going at a really high speed, but we're just flushing out the water. So if we come over here, we can see that liquid is coming out through that fraction collector and it's going into the waste. So we're gonna let it run for a few minutes and then we will go ahead and stop it. So now we've let it go for a couple and now let's go ahead and we can stop this. So we can just, there's a couple ways you can stop things. So if we just wanna stop it temporarily, what we can go is we just go here and then take that system flow down to zero and then set flow rate so that's one way that you can kind of stop things if you just want to pause things then you can pause things up here or if you want to totally stop the run you can do that and so we're done for now so we're just going to stop the run so you want to do this washing after every run you should go ahead and make sure that you're washing that main line that main tubing as well as you're washing the line to the fraction collector and so you're going to want to wash that with water and then if you are doing something longer term storage you can go ahead and after you do the water then do ethanol and then remember to do water again before you do anything with salt because the ethanol will precipitate it out but you want to wash that fraction collector line after each run because that's not kind of by default getting washed when you're washing your column whereas the, the rest of the tubing would be Okay, Karina, what's today's lesson? So today's lesson is to make sure that we always have our fraction collector um, washed. So not only have our column washed, but we also have our fraction collector washed here. It's really easy to see. Exactly. So it's really easy to forget that you need to wash that fraction line too. And so right now we have it kind of like by default. It is set to go to waste or outlet valve. You need to set that outlet valve to frack and that is going to take it to the fraction so you can see here you're going to waste here you're going the other direction and you're going into that fraction collector but because you have it the fraction collector heads kind of like going to be in that position where it's just going to go directly into the waste so you're bypassing though in order to make sure that you're washing that outlet tubing from the fraction collector awesome okay so Another fun day and now our acta should be safe.